Hello, this is John Purcell from QuantumLifetime.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, the relationship between energy and electric field strength. Let's imagine that we've got a electric field that's just pointing in this direction. We've got a charge placed in the field uh, of charge of value Q. So in suitable units, of course, um, we can say that the force on this charge is electric field strength times Q. Electric field strength is defined as being force per unit charge. The acceleration of this charge from Newton's second law is the force divided by its mass, m. And the speed of it after time t is going to be acceleration times time if it starts from being at rest. So this is velocity or, or speed, if you like, after time t. Now we've derived an expression for the energy of this charge. Uh, oh, sorry, of um, the kinetic energy of moving objects, and it's one half of mv squared, which is a well-known expression if you're into this kind of thing. So, uh, therefore, the kinetic energy of this charged particle after time t is going to be equal to one half of m e q t over m all squared, which uh, is equal to one half of e squared q squared t squared over m and one of the m's cancel there now the point i want to make here is that the uh, energy after time t is proportional to the square of the electric field strength it's not directly proportional to the electric field strength but to the square of it and it's the same with uh with a, a wave like this the peak energy of a charged particle placed in a sinusoidally varying wave like that it's not a very good axis, but never mind, um, will be proportional to the square of the peak electric field strength. And we're going to look at this a bit later on. Now, this model that we've been working with, uh, E, electric field strength, equals peak electric field strength times sine kx minus omega t. It's useful for many purposes, but um, it's not an adequate model when it comes to talking about the energy of a wave. If you try to work out what the energy of a charged particle placed in this wave would be, with, with a lot of calculus, well not a lot but a bit, then you get the right result with respect to peak electric field strength, that it's proportional, the energy of a char that particle, uh, peak energy will be proportional to the peak electric field strength squared. But you get a load of crazy results with regard to stuff like frequency. Um, and that's because this is just not, not an adequate model. We'd have to use Poynting's theorem or Maxwell's theorem to capture like the um, total electric flux in the wave and talk meaningfully about its total energy and stuff like that. And if you think about it, this wave's just pushing particles up and down. That's all it is, a force that pushes things up. And then it pushes things down, up and down like this. Um, and if you, have, if you push something up with a force, and then you push it down again with the same force, and then up again, you end up with um, some particle that's going up and down and you're not continuously transferring energy to that particle because uh, here at this point, if the particle's at rest, you're doing work on the particle to accelerate it. But here, you're decelerating the particle and the particle's actually doing work on you. So you, you transfer some energy to it and then you take that energy away back again and you take it away again, and the particle transfer, transfers energy to the wave. So that, that's an, in, an, an inadequate model here. This model is not so good for talking about energy, um, but it's, uh, it is true, nevertheless, whichever way you look at it, that the, that the energy of a wave is proportional to the square of the electric field strength, and we're going to use that result um, later on in the next tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial, and in the next tutorial we're going to look at intensity, and um, uh, we're going to look at the definition of intensity of a light wave, and we're going to, going to go on to using that with Malice's law, and look how um, intensity and the energy of a wave depends on polarizers, and then we'll move on to looking at photons and the energy of photons. So uh, you can find more tutorials on uh, quantumlifetime.com, as well as a uh, podcast uh, that's a bit more metaphysical and uh, until next time keep it real